this, this congressperson has a spirit that is not matched by many others, and I'm very happy to say welcome to him. Thank you, Kitty Dukakis. The great Kitty Dukakis. No. Thank you, Kitty. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Kitty. And can we all say that between Mike Dukakis and Deval Patrick, we had 20 years of governors that no other state has ever had in serving us and giving us just absolutely fantastic, fantastic leadership. And as Michael said, it's in partnership with uh, Terry Murray and with Bobby DeLeo, um, with uh, Senator Rosenberg, state representatives that are here, and, uh, and so many others. Uh, and, uh, and with our congressional delegation, the, the great John Tierney and his wife Patrice here this evening as well, you know, partnering to work uh, as part of a team. Uh, and it's great to be at a Northeastern event tonight. Just two weeks ago, I joined with Governor Patrick, Joe Aoun, and the great Barry Bluestone uh, as uh, we announced a $20 million federal grant for the Ruggles MBTA station to redo that station. Northeastern on one side, right there in Roxbury. Um, and in a lot of ways, that station and that planning is really what the Dukakis Center is all about. Uh, it is, in a nutshell, going to lead a Roxbury Renaissance by investing in infrastructure to create jobs and economic development. It's interdisciplinary, it's integrated planning, it's collaboration, it's everything that, when you put those words together and you Google it, Mike Dukakis's picture comes up, okay? It's what his whole life has been about. It's what Deval Patrick's been all about. And we thank the both of you for your fantastic leadership. Tonight, we celebrate 15 years of visionary policies and ideas created by the Dukakis Center and Northeastern University. Mike Dukakis has the wisdom of a grandfather and the energy of a teenager. And Kitty Dukakis is never going to get old. She is just continuing a life of fighting for everything that we know is good and with boundless energy for the things that she believes in. My father is from Lawrence, and last year I decided, as I announced for the Senate seat, to ring the doorbell on the first floor of the Triple Decker at 88 Phillips Street in South Lawrence to see who lives now, where my father and his four brothers and sisters and his mother and father, my grandmother and grandfather, lived in the shadow of the mills on that first one half of the first floor of the Triple Decker. And the door opened and out came a Dominican family with their children. And the accents were different, but the aspirations clearly the same for those children as existed for the Marquis on that first floor in Lawrence, in that great city of 70 and 80 years ago. And the son of someone who grew up there is the United States Senator from Massachusetts. And Mayor Rivera and the Dukakis Center all, and the governor committed to ensuring that the same opportunities are there, that the 21st century is more healthy, more educated, more prosperous, and more fair than the 20th century was. That's what the Dukakis Center is all about. That's why we are here tonight, to honor all of the work that has been done and is going to continue to be done in Lawrence and in cities all across the Commonwealth. I can say this, very few people can say it. Bonnie Frank can say it. <laughs> Mel King can say it. But I was swept in as part of the McGovern landslide of 1972. <laughs> and we were all elected as state representatives, and we were waiting. We were waiting for the 74 election because then our generation's leader was going to be elected governor of Massachusetts, Mike Dukakis. And as I walked through here this evening, I knew every single person at every single table, and it was clear that everyone at every table knew everyone else. And the more that you think about it, Michael Dukakis just might be the organizing principle of our lives. <laughs> 
that he is the one who brought us all together, that we are all part of one big plan, one big interdisciplinary coordinated plan that Mike Dukakis put in place. And so he had this imprint on all of our lives. And he was very supportive of my campaign last year. He went everywhere. He did everything. He spoke to every single volunteer group. And after one of them, the next day, this 16-year-old came up to me in my headquarters, and they said, you know that guy, Mike Dukakis, last night? He was good. He should run for something. He's good. <laughs> you know? Well, Michael hasn't lost anything. I had a moment in Lowell with Michael and Kitty in 2013. He came up and sat there in an organizing meeting, and almost everyone in the meeting was Cambodian. And Michael told the story of his father and mother, of his ability to go to Harvard, Law, Harvard, Law, Harvard Medical School, his father, and how he raised with his mother a son who could be governor of Massachusetts and nominated for the presidency of the United States of America. And he was explaining to these Cambodians how they too had to organize for their generation to change the world that they live in, to organize for the opportunities that they have to create. And here's what I remembered watching him on the trail. Yes, the Greeks invented democracy. <laughs> but Mike Dukakis invented grassroots organization in the state of Massachusetts. He is all of our fathers. He was explaining to the next generation how they have to organize to make their mark on our country. And there's no better place than Northeastern University to reflect the ideas, the ideals of Kitty and of Michael. The Dukakis Center makes clear that they aren't just a think tank, they are a think and do tank. But they might as well call it a think and do caucus tank, <laughs> since Michael and Kitty are synonymous with getting stuff done. And the governor is correct. And under his leadership, here's where we are. We're number one in America in education at the fourth, eighth, and tenth grades in math, verbal, and science, number one. In healthcare, governor, number one. In healthcare, every child has healthcare, Massachusetts. In energy efficiency, number one. In biotech, number one. We are proud of that. We are Massachusetts. That is what we expect of ourselves. And we are still not happy because we haven't lifted the bar high enough. That's who we are. That's our expectation. And uh, Senate President, the Speaker is here. Uh, that's all part of what it is that we represent. But Across America, when the American Society of Engineers gives our national infrastructure a D-plus, that's when we need the Dukakis Center to move us to the 21st century and beyond. When the median household, household income in America was less in 2013 than it was in 1989, that's when we need the Dukakis Center to create a plan to extend economic opportunity into all communities. When sea levels are rising on the East Coast four times faster than the global average, that's when we need the Dukakis Center to see clean energy job creation ideas that are good for all creation and for all of America. There is an ancient Greek word, agape. And agape means giving yourself the ability to respond to human needs. And that's what the Dukakis Center does every day. It gives cities and towns and states the ability to respond to the needs of their citizens. And it's what Mike and Kitty Dukakis have done for all of us to help lift our gaze to the constellation of possibilities for ourselves, for our families, for our state, and for our nation. We thank you, Michael and Kitty Dukakis, for all that you do to turn possibility into reality. We need the Dukakis Center now more than ever to ensure that the 21st century gives all of those opportunities to every child standing on every porch in every community, not just in Massachusetts, but all across our country and all across our world. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you for everything that you did.